الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون الله سبحانه وتعالى says in the Quran O oh believers Fasting has been prescribed to you as it was prescribed to those before you so that you may attain taqwa. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed each of you thus far this Ramadan in your struggle to attain taqwa in your hearts. I would like to thank this community, this masjid and its leaders for allowing the youth an opportunity to speak to the, the community. MashaAllah, I'm so happy throughout the iftar, I saw so many youth. And I can only think to myself that they are our future. In the few minutes that I have, inshallah, I would just like to stress the importance of having our youth involved in the community. The Prophet وسلم, he said, <coughs> To make use of your youth before your old age. One of the seven people who will be amongst the shade of Allah, when there is no other shade on the day of judgment, will be a youth who grew up in the devotion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I ask you, as a community, are we providing our youth with the proper opportunity to facilitate their growth an acceleration and a devotion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that they can attain this shade on the Day of Judgment. Brothers and sisters, the youth of our community are being tested greatly by the society out there. They are being faced with challenges that you cannot even comprehend from drugs and alcohol and fornication and peer pressure and the list goes on and on and on, brothers and sisters. And as a community, as a masjid, we need to see this as a crisis. We need to see this as a crisis and that we need to get on board with providing our youth with opportunities so that they can become involved in the masjid and in the community and connected to the jama'ah. Why? Why should we have the youth connected to the jama'ah? Because Islam in America will be spread by the youth. Just as the growth of Islam in the time of the Prophet ﷺ was spread by the youth. Ibn Kathir, the great authority on tafsir, he said that the youth were the one who responded to the call of the Prophet ﷺ. Most of the early followers of the Prophet were youth, were young people. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, he understood this so much so that when the first delegation from Medina accepted Islam, the Prophet sent with them a young man, a youth, a young person by the name of Musa ibn Umayr to teach them. When the Prophet ﷺ conquered Mecca, when the Prophet ﷺ conquered Mecca, he appointed Ibtab ibn Usayyid as the governor of Mecca. He became the first leader, first imam to lead the prayers. He was only around the age of 21 years old, a youth, a young person. <coughs> the Prophet gave the youth an opportunity and he provided them structure within the Islamic framework. In America, we need to analyze our situation in our community and evaluate our young people and ask ourselves, are we providing them with an opportunity and structure because once you give the youth an opportunity and you provide a little bit of structure, they will amaze you with what they can offer and what they can bring to the table. They will bring new ideas and creativity. They will bring their vast knowledge of technology. They will revive the spirit of Islam in the community. But I stress we must listen to them. We must hear them, talk to them. We must forgive them and show mercy towards them. And most importantly, we must release our strain on power and give and entrust a little bit of it to our young people. Of course, 
the young people will make mistakes. They will fall. They will struggle. But it is our job to pick them up, brush them off, and encourage and motivate them and put them back on the course. And to our youth, do not be afraid of responsibility. You need to see yourselves as leaders of this community and seek to empower yourself and get connected to the jama'ah and get connected to the youth struggle and the youth cause. Because let me tell you, you cannot reach your full potential unless you are connected to some sort of Islamic group. All the great men were attached to some sort of group, whether it be Gandhi or Malcolm X or, or, or Martin Luther King, even Michael Jordan was connected. Michael Jordan could have not reached his full potential without being connected to the Chicago Bulls. Through his Jama'ah of the Bulls, he was able to reach his full potential and become one of the greatest basketball players of our time. Brothers and sisters, the hand of Allah is on the Jama'ah. Whether your Jama'ah is fame, the Florida Association of Young Muslims, whether it is the MSA, Muslim Students Association at the college level, or MINA, Muslim Youth of North America, or Young Muslims, or your local youth group here at Miami Gardens Masjid, whatever your Jama'ah is, you need to stay connected and involved in the community because that is the only way you will be able to reach your full potential and reach your greatness that you have within you. Lastly, a reminder to our youth. The Prophet وسلم, he said that you are on the deen of your companion. So I ask our youth, you need to ask yourselves, who are your companions? Who are your friends? Are they the ones outside of this masjid who are caught up in society with all the obscenities? Or are they your Muslim brothers and sisters right here in your local community? You are on the deen of your companion. So choose your friends wisely and seek to get involved in your community. Do not sit silently. You need to seek this opportunity that is out there and get yourself involved in the masjid, in the community. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us to understand the important role that our youth play in the community and may He enable our leaders to provide them with opportunities and structure. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shower His mercy on us and may we in turn shower our mercy on the youth and the young people and may He make it easy for us to facilitate their growth and development so they can be connected and under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I ask Allah to forgive us for our sins and grant us paradise and save us from the punishment of the hellfire, inshallah. May He make each of us have a blessed remaining days of Ramadan and may He help us to strive to attain that taqwa in our hearts. And may He make us have a joyous Eid al Fitr, inshallah. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al akhirati hasana wa kina alab al nab. Subhanaka rabbika rabbil izzati yama yasifun. Wa salamu ala al mursaleen. Wa alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Nashiru an la ilaha ila anta mustaqfiru wa natubu ilayk. Salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.